So in this video, I want to talk about the relationship between Belle and Ryu and one of the reasons why I do really like their relationship and it's why I really would love to see a what if situation of them getting together and the reason why I say a what if situation is because the author did note on Twitter that if they got a certain amount of likes that they would do a what if now going back and finding that tweet is so hard on this day and age because the author tweets quite a lot but it does also demonstrate that the story is clearly not going to have a harem ending if the author had thought about the idea of doing a what if it also makes me hope that the author will consider other what ifs for other characters so that other fans can kind of get endings that they might find interest or would like like i know some people uh, ship Belle and Hestia together and other characters as well certain other characters in a bar certain other individuals that work alongside him that are a fox or a supporter etc I would like to see more what ifs and I would love to see this particular what if and the author had noted on it whether they follow through on it or not is the next question but that being said the fact that the author has noted on that demonstrates to me that they have no intentions of going through with a harem ending not that they ever said they would it's been hint it's been not hinted but it's been clearly outlined in almost stone etching that it is going to be bell and eyes i understand why people might be a little bit frustrated with harem series you build up all these characters that you fall in love with and then to find that they all end up getting their hearts broken it can be a little bit frustrating i've seen a lot of comments of people saying you know it's annoying that the author builds up all these relationships just to be heartbroken but that is just how harems do work most of them do i mean you look at certain other harems out there like roselia vampire Nasika. the only one that's really deviated away from that concept was we never learn which had multiple different endings which is funny because fans tried to justify which one was the canon ending and said well this is the canon ending even though the author just came out and said no uh every one of them is a canon ending because every girl wins it's just you pick the one you like so that was a nice way of doing it but it doesn't work with Darmarchi because Darmarchi is a little bit more of a complicated story being it's a light novel rather than a manga it doesn't mean you can't have what if sort of splint off stories think of like for example Subaru and Rem how there is a sort of a, a separate spin-off side side story that's a different volume that goes into their relationship and what if Subaru ran away with Rem and had children that I actually do like the idea and I do hope the author does that just to give something satisfying to fans that would like those kind of ships. Now I'm not the biggest fan of shipping communities because of how toxic they can get and a lot of parts of the shipping community for Darmarchi have a tendency to take things that other people say and twist them. For example, a lot of people think that I ship Belle with Freya because I've noted that I like Freya as a character. Just because I like a character doesn't mean I ship them. It's a little bit weird when fans take these kind of things a little bit too serious. For me, I just see how they go, and if I like it, I like it, I don't, I don't, and I kind of move on. I, I will voice my opinion, but I won't start kicking and screaming and making threats to authors like many communities have done. It's, at the end of the day, it's the choice of the writer. But the thing is, is that Darmarch has demonstrated from the very beginning in the light novels and in the anime and in the game as well which is canon that Belle and Eyes are going to be together. I've seen a lot of people trying to copium on that saying that oh no 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 it hasn't done that it's like I understand some people don't like Eyes but the story has very much established that that is the end game. Now I understand the counter argument to people saying well their relationship really hasn't developed compared to other characters that is true but th there's still a lot of the story yet to go and that's something that I talked about in my previous video where I talked about when the story is going to end and I only brought up two points in that but another point would be that there is still a lot of story left to go in that sort of time pocket that is left and and so because of the fact that the story has still got some time to go, much more development to go. There is much room, and I mean a lot of room, for other characters to develop feelings and grow and build those relationships. So as much as I understand some people saying, well, a certain elf and a certain boy, a hero, have had the most development as far as relationships go, there is still a lot of room for twists and turns in this light novel series. Which is why I do believe Belle and Eyes are going to have a big moment where they're going to develop a lot more. That being said, I still think it is important to discuss about the relationship between Belle 
and her, uh, Ryu because I feel like this season has really emphasized on their relationship and the bonding and the building. Now, of course, I've read the light novel, so I knew this was all coming, but I'm just more emphasizing on the season because it's easier to kind of pocket it. This particular part of the story is really shown in the dungeon, the relationship between them and why she's fell in love with Belle. And it's that whole thing of Belle is the hero. He's gone into the dungeon and he has saved, well, he has saved her. They're, they're kind of it's partially her own fault for allowing vengeance to consume her but at the end of the day you can understand why she's so frustrated because of the things that happened in her past and that's another thing as well that's really great about this season is that it's given you pockets of information about her backstory to give you a better understanding of why she is the way she is i think the anime has done a great job this season of really building on her backstory and the relationship between them i've seen some people complain that there's too much dungeon too much backstory I disagree, but we can all agree to disagree on things that we may or may not agree on. It's just, yeah, I think this season is absolutely amazing. I still think there's best the best is yet to come when it comes to crazy spicy things, but I really do love this story because the relationship between them has been growing very steadily throughout the seasons or throughout the volumes, and this is one of the big and major pivotal moments between the relationship, and you can't blame her for falling in love with him even though she keeps saying, no, you have to abandon me, you have to abandon me, and he sits there and says, well, you would have saved me. And she's just like, no, I wouldn't. And it's like, well, actually, yeah, you would. You've done it before. You've come to the aid of not just myself, being Belle, saying that, but also others as well, and really showing that she is a person of justice, and that's her core value, and she's still kept it inside of her. She is still a good person. Deep down, even though she thinks she's evil and broken, Belle has really shined a light on the good values of her. And that really does affect someone mentally, and it can really make someone feel something strong because you, they feel like, wow, you you think this of me, you think this highly of me, and it can really change how a person perceives them from just maybe friendship or respect to love. And that's why I think their relationship really does work quite well, and it's why I would like to see a what if. Just so that, you know, fans have something. I would like to see it for other characters like Hestia, Freya, a certain Fox girl, a certain supporter girl, maybe an Amazon girl as well, just for the fun of it. That kind of thing. Maybe they could have a what if with the Fox and the Amazon girl. They could have a bit of fun together. But the point that I'm having is that I do think their relationship really is quite amazing. That being said, it sadly is not going to be something that's going to be the end game. It's the same thing with a lot of fans that say Hestia and Belle make sense, but even though Belle has noted multiple times that he doesn't see her that way, he sees her as more like a motherly type figure, and he always refers to her as goddess because that's how he sees her. He sees the gods and the goddesses as something very different. And it's something that I have noted in the story that the writer does a very unique job of writing the gods and the goddesses. They are in a completely different plane of how they think, feel, interact, and their general culture. And because of the fact that they are immortal, they they treat things very differently. How they love, how they hate, how they think and feel is very different. Because of the fact that they are immortal, it changes their whole perspective. And that's why... Hester and Belle would never make sense. It's the same thing applies to Freya and Belle. To those that keep thinking that I ship them together and that's the ship that I've... No, it wouldn't work. Because Freya is immortal. She lives forever. Belle doesn't. So it changes how a relationship builds and grows over time because Belle is going to get old. Belle may want a child. And that's something that will probably happen between the lucky girl that he picks. There is going to be a family there. And so... It changes a lot of how people perceive a relationship, and I think that's why Belle will pick someone that is mortal, the particular eyes. But I would still like to see a what if story, like how Subaru and Rem have been done. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you love to see different what if stories? I hope the author does it. It doesn't have to be insanely detailed, it doesn't have to be like a six part light novel series. It can just be one volume. One volume would be nice just to kind of give a bit of depth behind it, how it builds up, how it gets there, and then kind of the ending of it all. I think that would be really great. I don't see it being something like We Never Learn, where it's like like multiple different endings where Bell has this one major pivotal decision and he he's got to pick between one and the other. No, I mean there's there's many points in the story where Bell could have maybe branched off and picked a certain girl. And I would like to see maybe 
if the author does certain branch off points. And I think there are a couple of them already in the light novel series that have been covered by the anime that are yet to be covered by the anime that could have been branch off points that Bell could have done as sort of a what if he went down this route instead. So I do hope that is something the author does. Even in the game as well, do it in the game as like a non-canon side story what if and then do it also in the light novels as well. As far as the anime goes, it's a lot more difficult because they don't really fit into a season unless you did like a movie, but then that might confuse anime fans unless it was very clear. So I think just doing it in a light novel and in the game can work really well. So love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.